the Old Testament that was actually the one that was giving these laws. So actually him, that was the one that was actually giving these laws. So he says, I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Now let's go all the way to the beginning. Let's go to Exodus 24 and 12. chapter 24 and verse 12. And the Most High said to Moses, Come up to me unto the mount and be there, and I will give you tables of stone. I will, and give, what? I will give you tables of stone. I will give you tables of stone, read. And a law and commandments which I have written, that you may teach them. Do what? That you may teach them. So he gave them the table of stones with the commandments and the law, that you may do what? That you may teach them. That you may teach them. Let's go to Exodus 32 and 18. What was the last passage you mentioned? Uh, Exodus 24 and 12. Exodus 32 and 18. And he said, It is not the voice of them that shout for mastery, neither is it the voice of them that cry for being overcome, but the noise of them that sing do I hear. 32, that's 32 and 18. And it came to pass, as soon as he came near to the camp, that he saw the calf and the dancing, and Moses' anger waxed hot. So this is Moses after the 40 days and the 40 nights. He come out, he see the people basically <coughs> having like an orgy or something going on. Read. And he cast the tables out of his hand and break them beneath the mount. So Moses saw all of this folly going on. He got so mad that he broke the commandments that the Most High wrote with his own finger. Read. And he took the calf which they made and burnt it to, in the fire and ground it to powder and strawed it upon the wall. Now, and, let's go to 34 and 1. Exodus 34 and 1. <clears throat> Exodus 34 and 1. And the most I said to Moses, Hew you, you two tables of stone like the first. So right here, these things are made of what? <clears throat> of stone like the first. Of stone, right? What, when something is written in stone, what does that mean? Anybody? When something is written in stone, what does that mean? You can't change it. It can't be what? It there. It's there. It can't be what? It can't be changed, right? But he just, <laughs> but he just did what? And the most I said to Moses, who you two tables of stone? Who you two tables of stone? What? You, you two tables of stone. Make them again. Even though he broke them, make them again. Read. Like unto the first. Like unto the first, read. And I will write upon these tables the words which were in the first tables which you broke. So Moses broke them. Moses broke the commandments. He said, go back and make them again. So you mean to tell me he broke these commandments. He told them, come back up here and make them again. And we're not supposed to keep them. And they written with what? In stone. Written with who? With what? The finger of the Most High. Written with the finger of the Most High. Finish that out. And be ready in the morning, and yeah, come up that. in the morning unto right. Mount Sinai. Unto Mount Sinai. Let's go to Deuteronomy 10. I have to answer to that. Because uh, Brother here seems to think that he addressed that when he was at Jeremiah 3 and the Hebrews 8. He talked about that not being in remembrance anymore. However, when he talks about that new covenant, you, you were trying to make the statement that when, 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 when the Messiah died on the cross, that that stuff was done away with. However, the Hebrews 8 and was stated as prophecy. After the Messiah had already been crucified. Well, I, that's what I just told but I'm, just, but I'm sitting here telling you that how could that have happened when the Messiah was nailed to the cross when Hebrews 8 and 8 took place after that? And it's still stating as, I will make a new covenant. As in a future, I will make a new covenant. So if it had already happened under Messiah's death, burial, and resurrection, how could that new covenant have still been made? It would have been made already. So your affirmation would have been incorrect. We're going to stand on that. Exactly. Let's get this uh, Deuteronomy 10. Old and new go back. Deuteronomy 10. And 1. Deuteronomy chapter 10 and 1. At that time, the Most High said to me, Hew you two tables of stone like to the first, and come up to me in the mount. And know you broke them, you're going to make them again? Read. And make you an ark of wood. And I will write on the tables the words that were in the first tables which you broke, and you shall put them in the ark. And jump down to verse 4. Verse 4. And he wrote on the tables, according to the first writing, the Ten Commandments, 
which the Most High spake to you in the mouth out of the midst of fire in the day of the assembly. Jump down to verse 12. Verse 12. And now Israel, what does the Most High require of you? So anybody in here looking to understand how do you get in the kingdom, how do you get salvation, we're about to show you. Read. But to fear the Most High your God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Most High your God with your heart and with all your soul. Read on. To keep the commandments to of the what? Most High. To keep the commandments of the Most High. So this is what's required of us. That we do what? We 12 again. And now Israel, what does the Most High require of you? So we don't know what does the Most High require of us, read. But to fear the Most High your God, to walk in all his ways, and to love him, and to serve the Most High your God, with all your heart and with all your soul, to keep the commandments of the Most High and his statutes, which I command you this day for your good. For your what? For your good. So if you keep these things, it's for what? For your good. For your good. That's, he said, this is what's required of you. Keep my commandments. Let's go to Matthew 19. Are they still written down there? Don't they still written down there? Absolutely they are, because it ain't been written on our hearts yet. Right. <laughs> Let's go to um, Matthew 19. With the Messiah's own words. Again, if you want salvation, Matthew 19 and 16. The book of Matthew, chapter 19, verse 16. And behold, one came and said to him, Good master, what good things shall I do that I may have eternal life? That I may have what? That I may have eternal life. So if anybody in here, y'all want eternal life, the Messiah is about to tell you how to get it. Read. And he said to him, Why call you me good? There is none good but one. That is the most high. Read on. But if you will enter into life. But if you will enter into life, read. Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. Do what? Keep the commandments. So he said this. They asked him a flat out question. The Messiah. How do I get eternal life? He says, do what? Keep the commandments. Read on. He says to him, which? The Messiah said. You shall do no murder. You shall what? You shall do no murder. Where is he getting that? That sounds like the law of Moses. That sounds like the law of Moses. Read. You shall not commit adultery. That's from that's from Exodus 20, right? Read. Law of Moses, right? You shall not steal. You shall not bear false witness. Read. Honor your father and your mother. All of this stuff is in Exodus. In the Old Testament, right? This is the Messiah telling them, they asked him a direct question. How do I get eternal life? Read it again. He says to him, which the Messiah said, you shall do no murder, you shall not commit adultery, you shall not steal, you shall not bear false witness. Honor your father and your mother, and you shall love your neighbor as yourself. What did that Hebrews 13 and 8 say? I'm the same yesterday, today, and forevermore, right? Exactly. So he said this, so this must still stand, because he said he don't change. Let's go to um, Ecclesiastics. Mm -hmm. 12 and 12. Get them quiet. Ecclesiastes 12 and 12. Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. The conclusion is what? The end. Read it again. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Read. Fear the Most High. And do what? And keep His commandments. Wait a minute. He said the conclusion, meaning the end. Read it again. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Fear the Most High. And do what? And keep His commandments. Read. For this is the whole, whole duty of man. This is the whole duty. Wow. This is the what? The whole duty of man. This is the whole duty of man. Wait a minute. He said, this is the whole duty of man, right? Wait, I'm being just, let's show how you're going to be judged. Exactly. How are you going to be judged in the end? Let's go to James chapter 2. I'm bringing it. 